Hey there guys, uh, just trying to put together a quick uh, tip video for those out there trying to get started with shooting lights. Uh, this one right here was, you know, kind of typical uh, small bathroom, kind of Jack and Jill deal for, you know, bedroom back there uh, in the back of the image and then there was another bedroom behind me and agent wanted to show the connecting of the bathroom between the two so what you can do is you know either obviously set up maybe one two or three lights in order to get all of these uh, lit up in camera uh, and obviously that takes some time you know having to take a bunch of pictures uh, adjust the settings until you get it all right or you can just go uh, with one one light and just kind of run through these uh, and work with them in uh, post. And this right here was my first image. I lit the foreground here with one light bounced off of the ceiling uh, right above my head. Then the second one was uh, bounce here in the bathroom. There it is. <laughs> was bounced up here behind the wall uh, to light the shower area and some of that. Third one was uh, the room in the back. I just bounced a flash up against the wall in the bedroom up against the ceiling joint. And then I came back and thought, yeah, I needed a little more light. So I went and bounced another one here in the shower area, in the bathtub. And then last but not least, uh, my ambient exposure. That's what that looked like. And what we can do to quickly get that uh, to looking pretty decent is we can just take uh, the three images that we shot after we lit the foreground and we'll go ahead and select all of them we'll highlight them here on the right just to change them all real quick to a lightened mode for blending options and as you can see right there uh, no mask whatsoever not very time consuming at all uh, image right here looks pretty decent you know this is something that a lot of people will actually send off and we can actually go a little bit further and use this ambient uh, been told to use it at about 20 to 40 percent just depending on some of the light you have available uh, 40 percent looks a little too much you know all the way down to 20 percent doesn't seem to be enough. So I try to stick to about 30%, which is right around there. And then I can see right in the door here there was a little bit of light spill going on. And it's this one right here. So for that, we'll just quickly, you know, just uh, paint that out real quick. And that's it. You know, we can just close this down. And we're basically done. So as far as people asking, does compositing every shot really uh, help you? Doesn't it take any longer? No, I don't think it takes any longer. As soon as you have the idea of how you're going to be shooting and how you're going to be editing them once you get home, it certainly does help when you're out there trying to work your way through a house so instead of trying to get everything lit up in camera with you know three four five lights set up all the time one light is definitely enough to get started yeah you might want to have to learn some photoshop skills but uh, i'm not very tech savvy at all and i picked it up pretty quick and that's it for my quick tip on how to blend together a composite without having to create layer masks uh, as far as uh, blending them together.